Hey everyone, today we have seven critical need to know tips for Fuse that's gonna help anyone interested in perfecting their Fuse skills or if you are just looking to take yourselves to the next level. We do have a lot to go over with Fuse's abilities, but in order to really excel with him, you do need to know how he is best played or at least have an understanding of his play style. For starters, always be using the clusters in ultimate. It sounds obvious, but the timers come back very quickly compared to some of the other legends in the game. Also, and while it's not exclusive to his kit, try to keep yourself at mid range when it does come to fight so you can't excel with his abilities as they are a little bit more useful at this range. And while Fuse is not a fortified legend, he is slightly larger and his escape ability and overall close range utility is not as great as a legend like Wraith, Pathfinder, Horizon, or even Valkyrie to name a few. And while it does not seem like it at first glance, in some ways, Fuse is actually more of a support character with his kit of abilities, allowing you to create separation or slow things down to help out the squad. But he does have the ability to flip a switch and be crazy aggressive at a moment moment's notice. There are tons of ways to use Fuse's abilities, but if there's one way to use his tactical that will make the biggest difference in your performance in game, it's going to be using his tactical to force movement rather than thinking of it as a damage dealing ability. At first glance, the cluster is great to deal some minor damage to enemies. This of course will help you farm damage, which I actually think is a little unrated when it does come to this, but really the tactical's ability to create panic is where it shines. Fuse has the capability not only to place the cluster at extreme ranges, but also the ability to do this quite often since the cluster is readily available and there are two charges. Being able to apply pressure while also getting some great damage on enemies and forcing movement is the trio of perfection as a well-placed and coordinated cluster is a huge way to either force a player to move where you can fire shots onto them or force them to take some sizable damage. Also, you can use this cluster to apply pressure and have enemies temporarily back off of you from something like height or a god spot while you can then push across more open or revealing areas. This kind of makes it a solid movement tool for you and your team, even if it's not directly affecting your movement. Second to the cluster is the ability to have complete chaos with an indoor ultimate placement. It is not really a secret that Fuse's ultimate can be launched at extreme distances outdoors, but an almost better or at least equally viable option is to quickly rip an ultimate indoors to let enemies burn or create some separation inside of rooms. Truthfully, Fuse's ultimate may be one of the hardest damage ultimates to counter, and since an indoor ultimate placement really makes the flames harder to evade as it gets placed faster, it makes this even more so the case. Fuse's ultimate not only does moderate damage to those burning, but the effects of slowing players down I find is the even bigger issue for them to deal with. And on top of that, the continual ticks of damage actually gives him another element of recon as you can track enemies while they are burning. Do not sleep on an indoor ulti placement to do massive damage or get some reprieve from pushing enemies. For some, Fuse's passive may be a little weaker as once you are out of grenades, it really does not exist. But till then, Fuse's capability to swap from the grenade slinging arm to just throwing grenades regularly is pretty clutch and it's something that needs to be in the back of every Fuse's mind as every engagement is going on. The big scenario where the grenade arm is not quite as useful is going to be when enemies are camping on high ground or at any sort of height advantage. The arm really has no use case scenarios if enemies are somewhat nearby and above fuse. However, if you are rocking some arc stars, opening with an arc star stick from the grenade arm's extra distance and speed is a crazy good tool that needs to be used to open fights. Because opening with the stick is simply so powerful, whether you are on fuse or not, I really recommend that fuse does carry a handful of arc stars so you do have the option to open fights with a quick stick at greater ranges. Opening a fight with an arc star stick is one of the greatest ways to take on one on twos or one on threes. As you can probably tell, Fuse is all about explosives and creating large moments of chaos and opportunity, which does mean there is a fairly large reliance on his overall grenade usage. In addition to this, and again, Fuse actually thrives a little bit more at range as his knuckle cluster is more powerful at the mid to longer ranges. You should also consider grabbing the longer range type of weapons, such as a longbow or 30-30, as this can be really great to farm damage with these guns and his clusters all game long. And this can easily add up to some higher damage games relatively easily compared to a lot of the other legends in Apex Legends. But the big reason why you may want to pair up with a sniper or even back it up with a peacekeeper or a wingman is to control your inventory allowing for a much more steady use of grenades all game long with that extra inventory space. My personal favorite is the longbow paired up with a peacekeeper and since you can hold two grenades per inventory slot you can easily carry six or more grenades with a blue backpack which does allow for more moments of opportunity and chaos. 
We are not done yet, but if the video is helpful or you just want to support me, slam that like button and be sure to hop into the community discord to chat with myself, the community, or forego playing with those pesky randoms. It is crazy how many people actually do not know this next little tip, and that is that the ultimate for Fuse can be zoomed in while it is out. Using Fuse's ultimate as frequently as possible is the way to go, but sometimes just pulling the ultimate out to zoom in and recon areas is a viable strategy to see what's going on around you. The zoom is about the same as a 6x sniper scope, and this is something that is often underlooked. The zoom in is one of the most pure ways to recon areas in the game without actually needing to use some sort of ability like a blood hound scan or a crypto drone so do not sleep on it and relay this information to your squad moving back to fuse's knuckle cluster while it might be the bread and butter at creating opportunities and forcing movement it is also an insane tool to use it as a zoning or lockdown ability the active timer on fuse's knuckle cluster is a pretty decent amount of time and it's often enough time to prevent players from pushing through it as they don't want to take unnecessary damage this time is enough for you to pop a couple shield cells a battery or maybe even a med kit on top of this it can also be used to create an audible distraction and again allow a little bit more time for a revive the resetting capability of fuses knuckle clusters is a pretty solid one so don't be afraid to use them as an emergency ability to give yourself just a few more seconds when in a game like apex every second matters in addition to this and what also matters is knowing who you are up against and their flaws so be sure to check out one common mistake for every legend in apex so you can better counter them happy gaming legends